Hello, 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 it's Wednesday again. God, that came round real quick. This is Janice from The Opulent Life. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who've joined for the first time, I want to welcome you especially. Thank you so much for stopping by. And for those of you who have this is your second time and you've subscribed, you've liked, you've commented. I really appreciate all the love. I was so overwhelmed. Just goes to show that once, once, once anybody just steps out to do something new, step out into uncharted territory, that there's an audience waiting. There's people waiting to be encouraged and stirred on. Well, here I am. I just want to tell you a tale about when I was when I was really little my parents used to tell me that I didn't speak until I was three years old hmm. that was a real concern to an aunt of mine she used to say to my mum but Geraldine you no worry she na talk and she here na grow <laughs> well <laughs> you can see the hair grew in eventually and here I am sitting in front of you was a, it was a journey, I must admit. There were many years when I was through college, university, you know, work, where I didn't say very much. You know, I used to spend my lunch breaks in the car because I was so intimidated by others. Until one day in the staff room, I listened to the teachers and the other colleagues talking about this, that, the other, and I thought to myself, Jan, all this time you've been spending time in your car, and to avoid these people and they've got more issues than you do it was then I decided to listen keenly to what these individuals were saying these teachers and I got to know them on a one-to-one -one level and as I did they started to open up and share about what they were going through a lot of them were really frustrated about being in the type of work that they were I then asked them some real poignant questions so what is that you want to do if you could do anything in the world, what would it be? Slowly, slowly, their dreams started to unfold before me. And then I'd set them tasks and told them to give, and I gave them a deadline as to when they needed to come back to me. And when they did, something in them just blossomed and bloomed. And before you knew it, we were doing leaving parties because they'd handed in their notices and decided to pursue this dream. I just, when I knew that I had this gift, in coaching, even before the term coaching or life coaching had been known to me. I just knew this was it. I just, as I said in my last video, I love people and I love to discover the true gift that is in them. Everyone has them, yes, including me. And if you let me, I'll help you discover what it is. When God created us, created us for a purpose and it's time we all discover what that purpose is. During this time of lockdown it's an excellent time to, to be still, to step out into uncharted territory and see what you can do. Look forward to seeing you again next Wednesday when I will be dropping another video talking about another experience of mine. This poor to see you then. Remember, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again next Wednesday. God bless you all and